Oh, what is this? See here? Wow, there it is. Man, it's just starting to rain. The clouds are here. Wait, you can see the little drops here already, but this is the PlayStation VR. Let's try to do this with one hand as best as possible. I have a nice family member, member here at the house. Uh, help me at least use the scissors. DOS. And there is the lovely PlayStation little seal. I like to call it the seal of approval when you order something straight from PlayStation. And I thought this wasn't even gonna get here today. Again, another seal on this one. I can just pull it up with one hand, I can. And there it is. Glorious. The PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller Charging Station. Out of the box, fresh out of the box. Let's see. Mm. Feel a new reel. Cutting edge performance, enjoy 4K HDR visuals a 110 field of view and advanced graphical rendering. Quick setup, jump straight into the action with a simple one cable connection to the PS5 console. PlayStation VR 2 Sense technology. Feel real sensation and emotions with eye tracking, headset feedback, 3D audio and highly intuitive controls and thrilling new worlds. Surround yourself in a new generation of genre defining VR games. And here, here it is. Contents, VR headset, PlayStation VR 2 Sense Controller, left and right with attached straps, USB cable for controller pairing and charging, stereo headphones, six earpieces, Horizon Call of the Mountain voucher, and printed materials. Okay, and let's see the other end. And that is just some beautiful artwork for the game. And it says compatible hardware, PS5. Sorry, my love. I'll pet you and won't ignore you, my love. My little Lola, my little doggy Lola. Here she is. Get a little a little love. But that is it. So now we unbox this, show the world, and experience it with the world today. On launch day for the PSVR2. So yes, before this unboxing, I decided to do something, and yes, I shaved. <laughs> hey guys, this is Leo, I'm Chewing Gum, bringing you another video. In this video, we're gonna be opening up, finally, two weeks after the release date, we're gonna be opening up this beautiful, 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 beautiful PlayStation VR numero dos. Take a look. There it is in all its glory, straight from PlayStation, as you can see from the PlayStation seal right there. We are gonna be opening this bad boy up I've been out of commission a little bit. I've had a wrist injury, uh, and I spoke to my occupational therapist, as well as my orthopedic uh, doctor, and instead I can start playing video games, um, as long as it doesn't irritate me, or as long as it doesn't become, uh, the pain doesn't become overwhelming, I can start playing video games again, which is great, because I've been out of commission way too long, and I've been really, really dying to play this specifically, PlayStation VR 2 ordered it, pre-ordered it a long, long time ago. So let's get to it. Let's open this bad boy up, see what we got in here, and then hopefully we can uh, play in a different video because this is just an unboxing. So let's take a look. All right, so let's get this started here. We are going to start by carefully with scissors, removing these little thingamajigs here. Ooh, it pains me to open it. Wish I could leave it sealed, but you can't because you got to play it, so you got to you gotta kind of open it up here. All right, these scissors are not the uh, most uh, sharp things. So let's get these going over here. There we go. This one, this side looks like a little bit, it's a little bit sharper here. There we are. Ooh, let me see if I can open this one up without damaging the sticker. I don't think that's going to be a possibility. Let me just cut it open as well. Ah. Uh. All right, there it is. Let's be gentle. Let's open this bad boy up here. Let me open it up this way so that you can see what I'm gonna be looking at or what we're gonna be looking at together here. Oof, look at that. Okay, let's see. 
I'm guessing that I'll lift this bad boy up here. Oh, it's a little heavy. Gotta be careful with the wrist. All right, let's see if we can try this a different way here. Oh, maybe there's a little little thing on my jig. A little pickup, pick me up here. Nope, it's just a, a seal here. All right. right in there it's in a little box inside so let's hope that it's not too heavy oh not heavy at all okay let's get it going looks like an empty box is what it's left over so let's uh gently put this on the floor here all right let's come back to this all right so what do we got here we got our headset which looks obvious. And then we have our controllers right here is what it looks like. Our wire, our connection, our USB connection to the PS5. Um, and something that's in here. Oh, there's something already slipping out of here. Let's see, we got some goodies in here. What do we got in here? Ah, we got the full game download for Horizon. Call of the Mountain. There it is, right there. Beautiful. And then it says scratch here for pin. So you gotta scratch that bad boy off and then download the game. Beautiful, I'm looking forward to playing that. So what else we got over here? We have more wires here. I'm guessing this is the uh, charger or the cord that you use to charge the PS uh, well the new PlayStation motion controllers which are here Let's see if we can take these out right now just to show you how how they look Let's see what we have here they're very light very light look at this look at this and I hear that they have the same kind of friction that the PlayStation 5, the DualSense controllers have when it comes to playing racing games, when it comes to pulling the trigger on a gun, it's gonna give you that kickback. It's gonna give you that, that friction, you know? So let's see, how does this work? This is R1, how do you use this thing? Let's see, like this, uh, negative, let's see how you, this is right, oh, like this, look at that, wow, and there's the trigger finger right there, it's the analog stick, let's take a closer look here, it's the X and circle button, and you got your, your start button here, and you have everything in here, logos, of such, you got the PlayStation button is here as well. And here it is, the connection to charge your controllers, which is what this is for right here. Let's put it right in there and you're good to go. Luckily I have my uh, PlayStation VR Sense uh, chargers, which we'll open up in a little bit. Let's get the other controller here let's see what we got let's see if we're wearing everything properly here let's see that is correct so now we have both controllers it takes a little bit to get used to but there it is move it around be careful with the wrist but for the most part you got the X circle triangle square buttons here you got your capture button here on this one. Right here, you wanna record another analog stick here. You got another PlayStation button here. And I don't see another, oh, here we go. 
and another charging little port right there. Good. All right, let's put these down gently on the floor here. Make sure to clean up the floor before I opened up this box so that, you know, nothing would be too messy on the video. Here are the headphones that come with the PS VR 2. And this is, I'm sure, is what connects to the headset here. Little old fashioned connector, no lightning cable, no nothing like that. And they fit in just like this. Fit pretty good, actually. Pretty good. And they have different, where do those go? There they are. Different sized earbuds. For those that have bigger or smaller ears, you have those right there. All right, let's go on to the next which is the bigger one, the bigger, the more important unboxing of this unboxing and bagging. Whoa. We have our PlayStation VR2 headset. Oof. Look at that. How amazing is this? I'm gonna bring out my PlayStation VR1 headset so we can look at some comparisons here because I played that very much. The only thing that kept me from playing it was the hassle of connecting the camera and connecting that other cord, connecting all the cords together, making sure that everything was connected properly. This is just one cable, one cord, one connection to the PS5, to the front, to the back, and this. And then everything else is perfect. Everything else works perfectly. It has uh, OLED. Uh, screens here for your eyes. So I heard that the picture quality for this is unlike anything else you've ever experienced. Anything. So that is what you see here. You can take a look at that bad boy right there. The PlayStation, the first PlayStation came with a little cleaning, uh, a little cleaning uh, cloth for your lenses here, but it doesn't seem to have one. I don't know if that's a mistake or if it's not coming, but uh, this is just instructions here, as you can see. They were generous enough to add a little blue color to it. So it's not completely in black and white, it has a little blue in there. So that is that. So let's move on to little features here of the PlayStation VR 2. You have your, just tightens it up, just like the PlayStation VR 1. It tightens it up, it loosens it up. You can pull it. Let's just make sure we don't screw this up over here. All right here, you gotta push this. So it locks it in place, correct? But if you push this button, it extends it. And then let it go. And then it'll adjust to your head. And then from there, you, you can turn this. Let's do that again and lock it in to whatever feels best for your head. You have this here, which I believe is a focus. So when you put it on your head, your eyes, you can focus this bad boy on here to what you're looking at in the screen. And these are our four little cameras, all right? Now the PlayStation 5 is gonna, is, you're not gonna need a PlayStation camera. Like the PS4, you needed a camera, you needed the motion controls or just your PlayStation 4 controller and a whole bunch of other connections that you needed to make. This one is very simple with just one connection, no camera needed. So that HD camera I spent money on when I first got the PS5 in hopes that I needed it for a PlayStation VR 2, I do not, I do not need. So we 
are just going to be using uh, just that one connection, which is great. It makes It's going to make me want to play it more. It's going to be more convenient to play, and it's going to be uh, easier and less of a cleanup because all I got to do is remove this one little cable, which is great and amazing. Amazing. All right, let's put this bad boy right here on the table to be nice. There's a little, if you can see here, so I can show you that. I lift this up here. You can see your X, Y, and Z. X, I'm X, Y, and Z. Your X square and circle buttons here, right there. You can kind of see it a little bit. Nice little PlayStation logo right there on the side. So we have any other little, we have this here for added comfort when you put it on your head. You have your power button here. Okay. I'm sure we'll find out what these buttons are for right here. This one and, oh, this is just a speaker, I guess. And this is a button and this is the power button here. Let's see what else. Nothing else. These are for your headphones. So if you want to just stick them in there, you can when you're putting away your system. Put them in here or like this or something. There we are. Put them in there and store them in there while you connect this over here. All right, so now I have that one in the wrong way. But you connect the headphones here like this. So right in the back, you have this, you connect it right in there. Let's make sure everything is good. Let's see. There we are. Put the headphones in here. Just there you go. And you can put the other one in there as well. There we are right there. And that's it. You have your little setup here. Everything is connected and secured. Your headphones are here for when you want to use it next. You don't got to lose them. You don't got to misplace them. And you got this cable right here that's already connected here. Hard connected too, so you don't have to worry about it coming off. Okay, let's put this down over here in a much more comfortable position. Now we're gonna open up this bad boy here. So let's remove this. Make sure there's nothing else. It's a mess, I'll clean up this mess, I promise. Nothing else in here, nothing else under here. Nothing else, empty, empty. Empty. Let's make sure there's nothing else left in this box that I may be forgetting. I don't think so. I think everything is out and about. That's it. All right. Now it's time for this. For this little bad boy. Let's open it up nice and nice. Start off with the logo here so we don't mess it up here. Cut, unfortunately, but cut in a nice way. Now let's try to get this in here. Maybe I can just move it this way. All right, so we managed to uh, open this up here. There it is. Let's open it up. See what we got. Another box that feels and looks like the same kind of material that you got from the previous one. Looks like this box also doesn't want to come out. Yep, it doesn't want to come out, so. I don't know why, but these are a little bit hard to, to remove. So it's me a little bit of an unfortunate rip here. And I'll rip here 
to finally get the box to budge inside and finally voila really reveal itself the playstation vr box was also a little bit hard to get out so just be careful if you're trying to preserve your boxes to so be careful with how you remove the cardboard that's inside luckily the playstation vr 2 box is intact unfortunately this box right here is not as much intact which i wanted to keep nice and nice especially because of the playstation logo here but it looks like this is gonna have to go right in the garbage unfortunately but let's open this bad boy up right here oh look at this there you go it teaches you how to how to charge this little bad boy right here look at that nice let's open it up here like this there we are oh and there, look at that there are your two little connectors you put i guess on to the playstation vr controllers so that you can charge them up in this so let's why don't we remove this now and put them on there so that we don't lose them so let's go ahead and get this one right over here and let's put it on here like so nice little click and that is it for that one same thing for the other one right here nice little click here and that's it there you go that one actually clicked better than this one let's see if make sure this one's correct and correct all right better there it is now we open up another box for the power cable for our beautiful charging case here that I gotta find room for because we're running out of room here with all these video games and you have this the main attraction for the controller at least the main attraction we have our this thing is kind of big kind of huge I mean considering how big the controllers are I guess it makes sense so there it is it's, it's huge though look at how big it is but this is the connectors I added to my PlayStation VR 2 controllers are for these little magnetic looking things right here. And we're going to put them down and let's see how they look. Got a lot of cleaning up to do. A lot of cleaning up to do. Let's see what we got here. All right. Let's put this right over here. Let's try to figure this out. Let's move this right over here. We're gonna go like this, or like this. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Am I doing this right? Am I doing it wrong? Let's get the box and see what we got. There it is right there. Okay. Here it is. Clicks on just like that. You have the other one. That way we'll be doing the same. There it goes. And they actually look pretty nice here. Look at that. Looks really nice. Beautiful, and they fit really well, and they click really well. It just takes you a little while to find out what angle you want to put them on when you're putting them on the charger. So we have that going on right there. So let's show you the uh, finished picture here of everything. All right. We have everything here like so get this out of here and that's it that's really all that we got here is the the playstation vr2 headset the controllers and the, the charging station right underneath it you have your let's see if i can get this out of the floor here you also have your horizon 
hole of the mountain over there. Let's put it right over here so you can see the headset over there. All right. And then you know you have your manuals here for both the PlayStation VR 2 headset and the controllers and the charger and the wires and the extra earbuds here, right over there. And your power cord for your charger. And, oopsie. And uh, that's it. And then you got all these boxes here. Are you gonna either gonna keep them or are you gonna throw them out or are you gonna, uh, well, this one's gonna throw, get thrown out like I said before because it ripped a little bit. But I'm definitely keeping this place in VR2 uh, box here for uh, my collection. It's a little big, but hopefully we can find room for it. But it is huge, but it's a good place to store everything if you need to store it. So here we are with the PlayStation VR 2 headset. We're going to try this bad boy on and see what we got. All right, I'm on a chair, a little chair here that I use. Uh, because this is what I use my daughter's toys for in her little chairs while she's at school is that I use them to make videos like this because I can't have room for my own stuff. Can't don't have room for my own little little uh, little chairs here. All right. So let's make sure our headphones are secure here on the little side pockets that they have conveniently made for us. And we're going to try this little thing on right here. We're going to use the stretchy a little stretchy thing and ooh, this is actually really comfortable really comfortable compared to psvr1 mainly for these little eye cushions you have here these are very comfortable and then i can now just adjust it through the back by turning this wheel and there you go wow this is nice and cushiony very nice wow all right and if i wanted to just like release it a little bit i can and then squeeze it again I can put my headphones on for my nice little little pockets on the side here and put them on and oh look at that I can't hear anything the world is no longer my oyster my VR world is my oyster and now I am completely oblivious to what's going on around me but there is a button here that you can use that apparently lets you see your living room while you're in game just in case you know your your daughter's calling for you or you know somebody else is calling for you that needs your help you know so that you're not completely away from the world but uh that's it now we can put it on we can take it off by doing the same exact thing like this and that's it wow these are actually really comfortable really really comfy wow i'm very impressed very impressed with the way it works and then you know you have your new little controllers here that you can just move around and fight or chop or slash or place or maybe sing a little bit or maybe you know do a little uh i don't know do a little dancing a little dancing you know a little dancing so yeah well you have your l1 buttons here too look at that l1 l2 l2 the triggers and the l1 button is right here nice whoa nice let's make sure we don't die here and we can place these right back here just like this wow they're actually very convenient now that i got to place them like this that's actually very very convenient there that's it they're in look at that very convenient with the way i grab them and place them grab them and place them wow it's a little uh, occupational therapy exercise there for me there we are oops there we are good uh, now let's look at the PSVR 1, see what, how it compares. I haven't worn them in a while, so they might be a little dusty. So inside this box here, um, box, bag, inside this Target bag is my old PlayStation VR headset here. There it is. The cushion around it, as you can see, started giving away or started dwindling away, creating little dust particles like these black little dust particles you see here getting everywhere very hard to clean very hard to get rid of but they are there so when i started wearing this as you can see here it might be caused by the sweat it might be caused by the change of temperature it might be caused by i don't know age i have no no clue no idea but they are there so every time i did use it 
I had to start, this happened like in year two, maybe three. I had to start, uh, look at my fingers, my fingers, look at this. Oh, what happened? It was right there. Let me see. Oh, there you go, look at this. See? I had to start uh, washing my hair because I would have a lot of this. There you go, see, look at this. It's like, where, it's like coming apart here. I don't know if it's just the first layer or is it the, it's the bottom layer as well. But that is a fact. Uh, so yeah, every time I would use my PlayStation VR 1, I would have to wash my hair because it was not, uh, well, it was not uh, not great. I had dirty hair. But there it is. There's PlayStation VR 1 compared to, to part two. Here are all the wires that are connected to it that you would have to connect into your PS4 or you're really a PS5 now, if you wanted to get that all in there. But this is, these are all the connections. They would number them. They would have the numbers here. You would connect four into four, three into three, two into two. I don't even think I have any of the other numbers. I do, here's five. But yeah, you would connect this one to your TV, one to the back of the PS5, and then the other one to the, the PS5 or to your VR headset or whatever. I'm not really sure how that worked anymore. It's been a while. Here are your headsets, your little earbuds, I'm sorry, your earbuds, and your volume controls are over here, your microphone, your power button. It was all here, it all works perfectly well. You have your, here, your non-OLED lenses, but they're there nonetheless, and they are here. There's a little cushion here, but of course not as good. And uh, here, let me see if I can put this on right now quickly so that I uh, can wash my hair later. All right, well, welcome back to my uh, little dusty table here with my PlayStation VR 1. Has the same feature, the little the little thing that, that uh, tightens up your grip or tightens up the grip of the PlayStation VR to your head. And it has the button that releases it for the extension, as you can see. Okay, I'm going to put this on so we can compare what both feel like, even though I think you just get a PlayStation VR 2 and not worry or bother with the PlayStation VR 1. But that is there and said, and here it is. Actually, not as uh, uncomfortable as I thought it was going to be. Actually, quite comfortable, comparably comfortable to the PlayStation VR 2, actually. It has this uh, little head thing right here that I don't remember if I, if I felt in... Uh, the first one it also has this little thing here that extends your headset you gotta see and look to see if the playstation vr2 has that so this is that here it is in all its glory as well now fortunately now i have a bunch of black stuff on my head that is not my hair it's little dust particles that you can see from the table here so as you can see, this is very uh, dusty. There was a lot of wiring required. If you wanted to uninstall and install it again, it would be a pain in the butt. I would always keep it installed. You would need a PlayStation camera. My PlayStation 4 camera is somewhere in the garage. It should have been with this, but it's not. It is, but they did. PlayStation was nice enough to send me a little adapter for free that you were able to one camera adapter not for resale and made it in China and you were allowed to actually uh, connect your PlayStation VR to your PS5 with this little adapter right here you could connect it to the camera I'm pretty sure it had to be the PlayStation 4 camera maybe it could have been to the, to the new HD uh, PlayStation 5 camera, but I don't think so. I think it had to be the PS4 camera and you would have to put it up above your TV and that's how it would track your movement and track everything else. The PlayStation VR 2 has uh, eye tracking. It tracks everything in your eye. It's crazy and it knows what you're looking at. It knows what you're doing. It's crazy. I cannot wait to try it. I cannot wait to get my hands on it and try it and, and see what the fuss is all about. Gran Turismo 7. Oh, I actually have a game here that I got for it. Let's see, let's open it up here. 
our trusty scissor here. Let's get it open here. I got it from Amazon. I think it was the only PlayStation VR 2 exclusive game that was physical, that I could find physical in a physical edition. And that is Townsman VR. There's Townsman VR. See, it says PS5 and it says PlayStation VR 2 required. This was the only game I could find out physical from their launch window. So that's Townsman VR made by uh, THQ Nordic and Handy Games, a THQ Nordic company. It says Townsman VR uses the exciting possibilities of virtual reality to further enhance the classic city building game with entirely new gameplay experiences and interactive mechanics. So this is like a, uh, maybe like a SimCity, uh, yeah, like a SimCity uh, kind of game here. Let's see if you can see some of the screenshots there. If I can show them to you a little bit. Off the light here. Try not to get it with the light. But sounded pretty good. Got pretty good reviews online. So I figured, hey, listen, this is a physical copy. I'm all about the physical copies. So I decided to get this one. But of course, I have GT7 right over there. Um, stored up. Installed and ready to go. And I have a couple of other VR games that I've purchased, like Tetris Connect, um, which I want to try. It has a PS5 free upgrade. I have the physical copy of that one. But again, I was looking for a PS5, PSVR 2 exclusive uh, physical edition. Those are physical editions for the PSVR, but PSVR 1, and they have the PS5 upgrade through the internet, uh, through the connection, like that. But... Very excited to try this. Very excited to try Tetris Connected. I think it's Tetris Connected or Tetris Effect or some, something like that, which like you're looking at, you're playing Tetris and you're like this and you're like, oh my God, what is going on around me playing Tetris like this? Uh, excited to try that one. They tried it to go back to go back to Thumper, that music based little Beatle game where you're like going around and you're, you're, you're turning based on the music and you're, you're hitting certain things. That, one, that was a good one as well. Excited to see what that looks like in the PSVR 2. Um, and I am looking forward to playing Saints and Sinners, The Walking Dead. Another big title. Another big title is uh, Resident Evil Village. Uh, that's a big one. But Resident Evil, uh, the previous one, Biohazard, also has a VR uh, component to it, which I could potentially try if it has a PS5 and a PSVR 2 upgrade. Uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I am done. This is my video. I try to keep it as short as possible. I tried. I tried. I'm sorry. I tried. Hey, listen. I'm listening. I'm listening. This was a nice gift from one of my really close friends. His name is Anthony. And uh, I love him. He's awesome. And uh, he got me this shirt for Christmas. So, hey, listen. I'm, I'm wearing it now. You know, are you happy? Are you happy you're watching? You know? But I love this shirt. I'm a big Zelda fan. Zelda's coming out soon, too. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Very looking forward. Very much looking forward to that one. Uh, let me just show you one more picture here. Let me get the PSVR set headset over here again. I'm going to try to keep it away because I'm not trying to get any of these dust particles on it or infect it with whatever kind of uh, The Last of Us fungi infection this PSVR 1 has to this beautifully uh, just made PSVR 2 headset. But... Here's the difference. Uh, try not to get it cross contaminated here, but this is the difference here. As you can see, this one has the front cameras here. This one had a blue light right here that would sense the camera that was pointing at you from the TV, which was the PlayStation VR, uh, the PlayStation 4 camera. This one has its own cameras and its own little sensors and its own little thingamajigs. Let me see if it has a, uh, let me see something. It doesn't seem to have that unless somebody can can correct me online please the uh i'm gonna have to put this down i'm gonna have to put it down this thing the little forward back forward back action for this that made this very comfortable um oh maybe it's this one right here let's see there it is it's on the top it's on the top now look at that yes very very important to get that in all right let me get this out of here before it gets infected i feel like it's already getting infected over here uh with that with those dust particles here all right uh but other than that everyone thank you so much for watching 
I will be trying this. I will try to record a video of me playing Townsman VR, maybe. Let me put it right here for you. Townsman VR 2. I mean, Townsman VR. Can't talk right now. Uh, maybe playing Saints and Sinners. Maybe playing uh, something. Uh, so keep an eye out for that video if you want to watch it. I will try to set up two different cameras, one looking at the TV and one looking at myself while I look crazy looking at the VR and doing the VR stuff. So uh, Gran Turismo 7, I just got a steering wheel for it. I don't know if I'm going to set it up, but I will try it with the DualSense controller because Gran Turismo 7 with the DualSense controller is actually pretty phenomenal, mainly because of the triggers, mainly because of the, of the give back for the triggers. I can actually feel how much I'm pressing on the gas and how much I'm pressing on the brakes. So... We'll take it one step at a time. Thank you so much for watching this video. I appreciate all the support, all the help, everything. And uh, follow me on Twitter, Leo I'm Chewing Gum. And again, I will see, I will see you uh, in the next video. I will see you in the VR world. I will see you playing any other game on PS5 or on my Nintendo Switch. I love you guys. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll leave it at that. I'll leave you here with this beautiful picture of these two beautiful things. And this beautiful little game right here. Right there. All right. And that's it. Later. Here are some PlayStation VR games that I hope get a PlayStation VR 2 upgrade or that I can't wait to play on the PlayStation VR 2. Townsman VR is like a SimCity create your own civilization kind of game. Resident Evil Biohazard and then Resident Evil Village because you cannot do VR without getting yourself scared out of your mind. You got Tetris Effect, which is like Tetris on steroids. You have a bunch of stuff going on while you're playing Tetris and I love Tetris. I love it. Batman Arkham VR, you get to be Batman and you know, you get to do a bunch of stuff, which I heard is pretty cool. So there you go. Astrobot Rescue Mission, which is like an adventure game rescue mission in VR. I love Astro Astrobot, Blood and Truth, a first-person shooter, which is like the pivotal of action games. I've heard great things about this. Uh, Until Dawn, Rush of Blood is like a scary haunted house where you get to shoot a bunch of stuff. I've heard great things about this. This is, this is actually a demo, PlayStation VR Worlds. Bunch of demo games there. I don't know if it's going to get an upgrade, but I can't wait to see if I can try it. Dreams, I've heard amazing things about the kind of worlds that are being created on that. And then you have Gran Turismo 7, the cream of the crop. Cannot wait to try it. PlayStation VR 2, here I come.